parasailing with cats? That's right. We drag them behind a, a jeep. Well, not really drag them, but we, we set them free in a little parachute that we have designed for the cat himself. And uh, that's how we got started. We parasailed first. Uh, 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 Lewis, since our program Wednesday morning, we, we got a little bit of a jam from some animal rights groups. And uh, they have been complaining. And I think we need to address their concerns first. We, they're upset. Well, Neil, I don't think that uh, there's really a whole lot of reason to be upset. I mean, we're not talking about dogs. You know, there's these these are cats, and uh, besides that, you know, cats fare much we- much better than what most people think. There's only, as far as we know, really, there's only been one fatality. You know, it's you know, there's is there, rumors. Is, that, is there only one cat fatality? Uh, that's what I mean. One we cat talked fatality about fatality that's been confirmed. Wasn't that Hellfire least. Harry? Oh, Hellfire Harry up in the no. the national. Cat chasing Hall of Fame. Now, what happens if the cat isn't caught? I know that 90, 95% of the time, the jumpers manage to catch the cat and land with you. What happens if the cat isn't caught? Well, he gets a little longer free fall, a few more grins, perhaps. Uh, it's, it's Generally, you're allowing for the wind when you leave the plane anyway. So, you know, very many times it's out over the woods, and uh, we've re- ne- never really found any cats, you know, other than the one Rocco brought home. Now, why, I'm, I'm trying to address the concerns of these animal rights people. Why not use an inanimate object, like a football, you know? Well, why, well you, could, you could throw a football out and have everybody go after the football, or a medicine ball, or, or a, a stuffed cat or something. Why do you have to use a live cat? Well, part of the reason is uh, the cat has to do this part of the, in the competition, too. It's uh, really part of his responsibility to hang on. Once uh, the skydiver catches the cat and uh, opens his parachute, the cat's got his got to hang on, uh, on not only through opening shot, which we said before could be equivalent of about a 40-pound cat, you know, just for an instant, about a 4G force, then uh, the ride down. Cats, uh, you know, we don't want to declaw them. They've got to hang on, too. They're doing part of the work, same as we are. Now, the first competition is, is coming up. The helicopter will be back shortly and load up uh, some of the first cats and the uh, and the jumpers. Uh, let's see, Kiefer, you're going to be our commentary help, our color man on the first jump this morning. Is that correct? That's correct. I've done uh, quite a bit of color work down under. Uh, the competition uh, in Australia is very fierce, and uh, I've, I'm sort of semi-retired, so uh, I like to jump. Uh, I've had a good time with it, but I'll tell you what, I really enjoy watching and commenting oh, on uh, the it, action. Wait, wait a minute. The referee is starting to get the cat ready. They're not pleased. It's a feisty one. I hear it's a feisty one over there. <laughs> well, we, look at him. We Quite hope fierce. Yeah, Quite fierce, I'd say. 